would shut your ass up. Damn, you talking too damn much. I'm in pain. Nigga trying to shut up. It starts off with four solid minutes of opening credits. We got Rosie Perez here doing her iconic 90s hard dancing routine. Everybody in the 90s danced like this. It's very aggressive. I don't like it. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Good normal morning. M -m my name is Smiley. And this is m -m -m my m -m Martin. King. The movie is set in Bed-Stuy, New York on the hottest day of the summer. We meet the whole neighborhood full of fun stereotypes. The Italians, the Koreans, the extremely loud Puerto Ricans. We meet our main character, Mookie, played by Spike Lee himself. He works for some Italians at this pizza place called Sal's. This nigga is the worst pizza man ever. You ain't no real pizza man, Mookie. You a pizza shit. No more 90 minute deliveries around the corner. Mookie, get off the phone. I, I dedicated a record to Low Daddy Show. Mookie. Come in, doctor. Doctor. Come on, what, what? Always do the right thing. That's it? That's it. I got it. I'm gone. Is this nigga delivering pizzas on foot? How the fuck? He's the only delivery man they got, by the way. That should probably take two hours to get to my house. Get a bike or something. That's crazy. Sal runs the pizza shop with his two sons, Pino and Vito. Everybody loves Sal, and he's proud of his whole business that he built. But his son, Pino, hates it. Pause, this nigga named Pino, oh no. Nah. Pino hates that he's stuck in the hood serving black people. He hates Mookie especially. That one makes sense though. He's a terrible pizza man, I hate him too. Maybe we should sell this place. Get out while we're, we're still ahead and alive. It's like I come to work, it's Planet of the Apes. I sat in this one day. I watched these little kids get old. I mean, for Christ's sake, Pino, they grew up on my food. They got a funny local wino named The Mayor. Everybody be roasting the shit out of his funky ass the whole movie. Hey! You old drunk. What did I tell you about drinking in front of my stoop? No. You so old, you're like a fossil. Mm. Man, you a bum, man. You're an old drunk zero, man. <laughs> we also got these additional funny local winos. They just sit across from the liquor store and talk about crazy, made up nonsense all day. If this hot weather continues, it's going to melt the polar caps and the whole wide world. <laughs> Dumb a simple motherfucker. The way you read that shit, eh? Y'all not even that old, bro. Robin Harris was like 34 in this movie. He's like three years older than Spike Lee. His character's name is Sweet Dick Willie, by the way. Major pause, bro. I would never call another grown man that. You tripping. Pause again. Start no shit with me. Sweet Dick. That's right. Sweet Dick Willie, my name. That's my name. Also in the neighborhood, they got this weird ass bruh man type character named Radio Raheem. He goes around the neighborhood playing the same goddamn song over and over, loud as shit all day. What's wrong with this nigga? The same song though? What'd you listen to before this shit came out? This shit's dope. I'm down, but you don't be playing nothing else. I don't like nothing else. Oh, God damn, man! Put that shit down! Oh, shit. Let me check it out. Let me tell you the story of right hand, left hand. One hand is always fighting the other hand. And the left hand is kicking much ass. <laughs> Nigga, how did you afford these rings? You don't even do anything all day. Where are you even going, bro? Are you just walking around the neighborhood in circles all day? Swinging at people and shit? Get a life, bro. Peace, y'all. Peace, Radio Raheem. Peace, man. You the man, I'm just visiting. What's your world, G? For real. In a big motherfucking way. <laughs> Radio Raheem like a motherfucker. <laughs> As you can see, we got young Martin Lawrence in this movie and the group of kids. Marty Mard loved the kids. Marty Mard is the kids. Are these kids or what? Some of these niggas old as shit. I'm looking at you, bro. Martin Lawrence's character has a crazy extreme lisp also. I guess to help him stand out or something. It's fucking distracting. He's doing it way too much. These kids are the worst part of the movie. Did you have to 
Jeffin to catch the name of the song. Fuck you, their name. Mo and Joe. What do I know their names? Mo and Joe what, sir? Mo and Joe Black. How's that? They're brothers, sir. Yeah, they're brothers. Yeah, they're fucking brothers. Down the street, we got this weird-ass, kooky radio host played by Samuel L. Jackson. The radio station is right at the end of the block. In the hood? That's weird as shit. He's like commenting on people walking past the window. I would hate to live in this neighborhood. This wacky ass Dr. Seuss ass neighborhood. Mookie has saved the day straight from Sal's famous pizzeria up the block. Let me put this song on while I go to work on this chicken oh, comedy not a hero. Sal's pizza. Yep. It's $1.50. Yo, stop. Put some cheese in that motherfucker, man. Extra cheese is $2. $2? Yeah, $2. Hey, you can forget that shit. Yeah. What? Extra cheese, $2? Oh, nah, you tripping. This ugly oh ass pizza, man. Oh, fuck no. I would not eat here ever. Look at this nigga. They don't even be using gloves or nothing. This place is trash, bro. Somebody should burn it down to the ground tonight. So we're at Sal's again, where we meet the most annoying character in the whole neighborhood, Bugging Out, played by Giancarlo Esposito. He's like a funny local crackhead type, except he's not funny or on crack, so whatever that is. And yes, his performance is supposed to be over the top here, but nigga. Yo! Not only did we now we step on my brand new white Air Jordans that I just bought. Who told you to step on my sneakers? Who told you to walk on my side of the block? Who told you to be in my neighborhood? He's eating his pizza when he notices Sal doesn't have any black people on his wall of famous Italian people. Hey, hey, Sal, how come we got no brothers on the wall here? You want brothers on the wall? Get your own place. You can do what you want to do. Rarely do I see any American Italians eating in here. So since we spend much money here, we do have some set. <laughs> Bugging Out tells everybody to boycott Sal's and he says he's gonna open up his own chicken restaurant in New Mexico. Yeah, fuck Sal's, bro. It's weak ass pizza, man. Nobody want this sweaty ass racist pizza. Who's this, Papa John? Yeah, I'm organizing a boycott of Sal's famous. Shit. No, man. No. No. What you ought to do is boycott that goddamn barber that fucked up your head. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, come around here fucking with sweet dick with The mayor shows up again, looking like a damn emancipated zombie. Get your old ass out of here, boy. Your ass look like Harold Tubman. That's Harriet Tubman boyfriend. No more highlight. You get some Miller highlight in this funky joint. The mayor has this whole subplot about trying to find love in the world in the midst of everybody roasting him. He even saves a little kid's life, but nobody cares and they continue to roast him. What's wrong? Mayor knocked me down. I looked out and I seen your son about to get, get by the car. What are you talking about? What about you? I'll have nobody question how I raised him, not even his daddy. You're right. You're right. We head on over to Mookie again, who's going about his work day. He gets cussed out by his baby mom for not taking care of his kid. Then he leaves work entirely to go home and take a shower. He's going way too hard right now. That's pretty gangster. <laughs> Spike Lee has this thing where he likes to get uncomfortably close to people's faces. This is an uncomfortable ass movie, but that's the point pretty much, I guess. Still, it's unpleasant to look at sometimes. Two slices. No service till you turn that shit off. You are disturbing me. You are disturbing my customers. Back at Sal's Pizzeria, the racial tension is getting worse, but Sal is doing his best to keep the peace. Pino starts arguing with the dudes in front of the liquor store now. Y'all drunk, unemployed asses, why y'all always judging everybody in the neighborhood? You're not even contributing, bro. You just get fucked up all day and do commentary on hood shit. Oh no, that's what I do. Soon after, we get this weird ass fourth wall moment where everybody just starts shouting racial indecencies directly at the camera. What the hell is this? You definitely did not need this part. You was having way too much fun with this shit, Spike Lee. Dago Wob, Guinea, garlic bread, pizza sling, and spaghetti bending. Gold chain wearing fried chicken and biscuit eating monkey, eight baboon, big guy, fast running. Bugging out eventually instigates enough to get Radio Raheem and Smiley on his side with the boycott. 
They go to stage a protest now, and that works out just as poorly as you'd expect it to. Look at these niggas. Nobody following after y'all goddamn weirdos. Smiley's cool though, not you, Smiley. Smiley, get out of here! Fight the power! What I tell you about that noise? Fuck you! We want the black people on that motherfucking wall of fame! I'll fucking tear your fucking nigga ass! I really miss my nigga. The cops show up and they end up choking Radio Raheem to death. It's a really, really tough scene to watch. The whole neighborhood goes into a frenzy and Sal is standing here terrified. You better run and put some black people on the wall real quick. You got a picture on you, bro? You better go draw a nigga something. Sal and his boys had nothing to do with what the cop did. Only one of his pictures on the wall and he died. Hey! Everybody hates Sal now and they burn his pizza shop up. It's the next day and Mookie comes back to get his paycheck. Oh, this nigga cold, bro. You were a terrible employee. You burnt your whole job down. Now you back to get your paycheck. That's so gangster. I want my money and want to get paid. You don't work here no more. Sal, I want my money. You see this fucking place? I built this fucking place with my bare fucking hands. What are you gonna do with yourself? Make that money, get paid. The next record goes out to Radio Raheem. We love you, brother. Mookie and Sal have one final exchange, and everybody's sad now, and the movie's over. Nobody did the right thing. There's no real resolution, but we did get some black people on the wall finally. This burned down ass, half a wall. We made it. This is a top tier hood movie. It's Spike Lee's best movie by far. It's a movie that'll stick with you long after you watch it. It has some comedic scenes, it's very vibrant, but don't let that fool you. It's not really a fun movie. I think Radio Raheem said it best. The movie is about love and hate. Hate is whooping everybody's ass. We need more love in the world to balance it out. Which is why you should have just put some fucking black people on the wall. I get that it's your restaurant and you're going for a specific vibe, but like, come on, bro. One black person is not going to kill you. They give your restaurant free shout outs on the radio and everything. Just do it, asshole. Spike Lee was great. Danny Aiello was amazing. All the performances were great, except the kids. They were awful. Martin Lawrence was awful. Nah, I'm joking. They were fine, whatever. One gripe I did have with this movie, low-key, I do feel like all the non-black characters were just hella stereotypes. Maybe I'm tripping, but the Koreans and the Puerto Ricans and the Italians, they were all kind of like that. Maybe it's on purpose. I don't know. I'm not a movie critic. People to this day still debate why Mookie threw the trash can through the window. A common theory is he actually did it to divert the crowd's attention away from Sal so they didn't hurt him or his family. That's a nice theory. I like that one. It makes me feel better. It was not be a diversion. That's a theory that, that white people said to me. You know? That's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for some more Sad Hood movies. Be sure to follow me on Twitch. I watch movies live on there every week. It's super fun. We watch Johnson Family Vacation, Vampire in Brooklyn, all types of hood nonsense. Tap into the Twitch, definitely. Link in the description. Special thanks to the Patreon homies as always. Make sure y'all do the right thing out there. I love you, no pause. All right, what? Shit, come around here fucking with sweet dick, Willie. <laughs>